Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be discussing different oils and different natural body butters and as well as certain products that you can use to help moisturize your skin. And during this time of quarantine and pandemic, because we're washing our hands a lot, with washing your hands, over time, you're drying your skin out. You're, you're taking away the oils from your hands. The more you're washing your hands, especially you're dealing with like harsh chemicals and soap and alcohol. We work with our hands a lot and we, you know, have certain skin struggles that we are trying to overcome, you know. And it also, with the skin conditions, it also comes from the diet, you know. So let's get started. So the first oil I would like to really discuss is baobab oil, which is derived from the baobab tree within Africa. These trees can live up to thousands of years. They, they can live a pretty long time. And with this baobab oil or baobab fruit, it contains vitamins such as A, B, C, and D, along with omegas three, six, and nine fatty acids. So this is a type of oil that doesn't clog your pores and it also helps to regenerate your skin. Another thing with this oil as well, it contains anti-inflammatory and probiotic effects. It can also soften the skin and can improve the skin's elasticity. It can also be consumed and used topically on the skin as well. So you can use this all over your skin. You can use it on your face. You know, it's, it's really good to help your skin looking young and to help with inflammatory parts of your skin. Now the next oil I wanted to go over is jojoba oil. This is an oil that contains vitamin E, B complex, copper and iron. So it has a bit of a combination of natural vitamins but as well as certain metals that you need for your body. And this oil absorbs quicker. So once you apply it, it absorbs into the skin. It's also known to trick your skin from producing more oils as well. It can also deeply hydrate your skin and it keeps the skin surface from having a greasy texture. It can help with skin conditions and disorders such as eczema and psoriasis. And also you can use this for your nails as well. So you can use it to hydrate your nails as well as your cuticles. So if you have dry cuticles, you can apply your herbal oil onto your cuticles. Another oil that is used as well as tea tree oil. So for this oil, it can be helped to heal infections and wounds. You can treat it for, you can treat foot fungus or athlete's foot with this type of oil. It also can treat nail fungus. So if you have some sort of nail fungus around your nails, you can apply tea tree oil on that affected area because of its anti-inflammatory properties within this oil. So you can also use it as an antiseptic. You can also treat acne with this. So you can apply it on your face and it can ease the acne. And this also has antiviral qualities too. It can also help with skin conditions such as eczema or other type of skin conditions that you may, that you may have. Um, this can be used topically as well. So this is a very good oil to help with if you have any wounds as I said before infections you can use it for foot fungus or nail fungus as well so this is a very good oil to help your immune system and boost your immune system now another oil i want to go over has multiple types of uses and this one's avocado oil this contains vitamins a c d and e it's also high in potassium and contains omega-9 fatty acids it lowers your blood pressure as well as your blood sugar levels. This oil contains an amount of nine fatty acids. And with this oil, this also has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. This can help with dermatitis as well as acne and ulcerosis as well. So this is a good oil to help with these type of conditions. And also, it can help with anti-aging and reducing wrinkles. So that's a really good plus as well. For those of you guys who got skin that's, you guys are um, developing wrinkles or blemishes, it can be a good use for that. Um, it can also help strengthen your nails as well as the cuticles. So you can nourish your nails with this type of oil as well. 
This can be also used as a cooking oil. So you can use this to cook meals with, but also you can use it as a salad dressing. So that's a really interesting thing about avocado oil. And plus you can, people eat avocados all the time. So, you know, just like how you eat avocados, you can use the oil to, you know, as a dressing or to cook with, because it's a very healthy oil from the avocado fruit. So I'm gonna go over this last oil, which is coconut oil. So this oil contains triglycerides, is also rich in carbohydrates as well as fatty acids and vitamins such as vitamin E. It also contains lauric acid, which is another interesting thing. Um, it has disinfectant and antimicrobial properties. It's very high in antioxidants, so that way it helps with you preventing aging and developing wrinkles. This also helps with the hydration of your nails, so you can use this coconut oil as well as another oil that can help strengthen and moisturize your nails and it can also be used to, neuro to nourish your cuticles and this helps with also with digestion and it helps with fungal overgrowth and it helps with inflammation of the body so you can use that oil for those different type of qualities um, or for those different type of remedy solutions for your body so that's also a really good oil to use and consider. Now I wanna talk about natural butters you can use. I wanna talk about Combat Ready Bomb. So this product was made by Sarah D'Amelio, who is a holistic esthetician, and she has a company that sells skin products and cosmetics called Skin Cando, and she's in the DC area. And this is a product that can be used for different skin conditions. Um, soldiers that go to the military use this type of product. This helps with psoriasis and eczema and scars and different types of skin conditions that you may have. This contains different natural substances such as beeswax, kernel oil, omega-T and omega-3 acids. Um, so this is a really good product that can last you for up to two months or a month. So it's, it's pretty pricey, but it's a good product um, to use on your skin. And it can really help with a lot of things. So that's really good too. And plus it has natural components in the product. So I think I would definitely recommend this product, especially if you have psoriasis, eczema, or any type of skin conditions, like I said before. Now, one of the natural butters I want to go over is African shea butter or raw shea butter. Now the shea butter comes from shea trees that can be found within the continent of Africa. In Africa, it was used as a way of spiritual cleansing. This butter contains vitamins A and E as well. It contains a good amount of antioxidants. It helps with scarring and acne. It can help with UV protection. It can help with stretch marks and scarring. And it'll help increase the collagen of your skin to help keep the skin youthful and keep it strong as well. The shea butter also, a little goes a long way. So when you use a small amount of shea butter, it helps moisturize your whole hands. So you wanna make sure you're taking a small amount. Don't take a lot, you know, cause it'll take time for that butter to absorb into your skin. So a little goes a long way, but this gives you very soft and moisturizing skin and it can also reduce inflammation irritation as well. And also with this butter, it can be used onto different products you wanna make, such as scrubs, lotions, and soaps, and things like that. So it's a good foundation for those type of products. Now, another product that is popular as well, not just with shea butter, is also with cocoa butter. This can also be used as a vegan butter, and this contains vitamin E as well it can be used as an emollient and a moisturizer. It has a good source of antioxidants, just like the shea butter, and it can improve the skin's elasticity as well as the skin tone as well, prior to even out your skin tone. This can help with also stretch marks, and you can add cocoa butter also on your lips too. So if your lips are cracked and dry, you can add cocoa butter onto your lips to help improve the moisture 
on that area. And this can be a healer for sensitive skin and it can also moisturize dry skin. So this is another good type of body butter. Now another butter I would like to go over is mango butter. This is extracted from the mango fruit tree and it's located in Asia. This contains vitamins such as A and C. It is a protective layer on the skin. So what that means is that it won't absorb on your skin as quickly. So it'll take a minute to get the butter to moisturize into your skin so that it can moisturize your skin. So this can help with scalp irritation and it can also help with dryness. It can also help with dry skin and it can also help with eczema. It can also reduce stretch marks and scarring. With this butter, it can harden at room temperature, but when the mango butter is within contact with your skin, say for instance, if you have a small amount of mango butter, when it comes in contact with your skin, if you have a small amount of mango butter, what you can do is mash it in your hands to where it gets into a liquid state. When the butter gets into a liquid state, you can rub it on your hands and you can rub it on your skin and you can rub it on your face and that can really give that glistening of, of your skin. It can really moisturize your skin. So that's a good butter to use. Now, lastly, this butter is not as very, is not as well known as like mango, cocoa, and shea butter. This is a butter that is from a certain tree found in southern India and this butter is called the kokum butter. Kokum butter is found within the kokum fruit and as I said the kokum tree is found in southern India and this also has skin benefits as well. This contains antibacterial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties and this also contains vitamins such as B-complex and vitamin E. It also has fatty acids as omega-3s, omega-6, omega-9. It can be good for treating cracked feet. It can help soothe inflammated areas on the skin, such as burns and wounds. It can help with the damage of your skin cells, as well as it doesn't clog your pores. So this butter is also considered non-comedogenic. And you can use this also for different... DIY products such as body butters and lotions and soaps. So you can use this to make as a foundation for your product, mix them with like essential oils. And this is another butter that can be really good for your skin, can be really good for your immune system as well. So that's it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and take care. Until the next video.